up guys express here and i'm back with another tutorial now in this tutorial we create another anime header you guys absolutely love those tutorials so i thought let's make another one so what we have here is a header i created a while ago now and you guys absolutely like like this header on twitter so i thought why not make a tutorial of it so let's just jump straight into it. We'll only create a new file, and this file will want to be 3000 on 1000 pixels and the resolution on 300. So, what you want to do is find yourself a nice render that you have. But then, what you want to do is right click layer and rasterize layer style. Then, I'm just going to quickly cut out this little watermark, Yeet. like so. And then, I want to just put her on the side, like so. Type your name. I'm going to use Express for this tutorial purpose. And what font I'm going to use is the Pasty font uh, link will be in the description if you want to use this font as well make it big but not too big I'm gonna make it a bit smaller like so okay and then what you want to do is double click that layer and put a gradient overlay on that the gradient overlay can be whatever you want I'm just picking a purple because I think that will fit this uh, character the most I'm gonna change the spacing of the text a bit I'm gonna make put it a, a bit closer to be good to each other like so there you go then what you want to do is of course duplicate that layer with a ctrl j there you go then you want to take your text tool again select it and make it way bigger like so and then you want to put it uh something like um something like then you want to right click and ra uh, rasterize type and then right click it then again rasterize layer and then you want to go to your polygon tool select the p or whatever select the middle letters and remove them from the layer then you have something like this you want to put that layer behind your render is duplicate your text again i think for the last time yeah and then you want to select that again and make it a bit bigger then you want to put that in the middle as well then you want to double click that remove the gradient overlay remove the fill opacity and put a stroke on there um on the inside and make it a tree and then move that all the way at the back like so so the layer is behind everything yeah behind everything so and then what you want to do is you can keep the background uh, white if you want but i'll change it to a dark purple like this and then i'm going to change the right side of the character to another color so i'm going to select that side make a new layer and change that color to something maybe like this blue could fit yeah uh, i think that could work and there you go that's why uh, and i'm gonna lower the opacity a bit of the outline that we made like maybe around four um, percent i think that would look even better and what you want to do then of course is um, take your text tool again and type uh, your name again then you want to select that and change the font to the signature font that i've used make it white and all my um, text is in cap so we want to change that I only want the X to be in I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and I'm gonna move it around here I think I'm gonna make it a bit smaller yeah even even more I'm gonna put that above uh, the text that we have I'm gonna put that around here maybe turn that a bit like so with a control T of course double click that and I'll put a drop shadow on that a drop shadow of the size 0, spread 11, and distance 8, and opacity is around 60. When to Google Translate, I typed in an express, and then the Japanese text for that is that. I don't know if that's correct or not, but sure, it's a band that doesn't have to be correct at all. And you want to copy that in your Photoshop. You can choose the, um, the basic font from Photoshop. It doesn't really have to be a specific font. Uh, I'm just going to choose this one. It will also be in the link in the description and I'm gonna make it pretty big something like that I'm going to put it right in the middle and then I'm also going to move it behind everything like so and I'm going to change the color overlay of course to something like and then what I just did then is just putting some random circles in it to look at, to look, make it look way better also put the Japanese text um, I'm gonna duplicate uh, I'm gonna make that a normal layer real quick uh, I put the Japanese uh, text also um, to the left of uh, to the right of the text like so I put it somewhere here I double click that as well I went to um, gradient overlay and made the opacity just a tiny around 50 and I made and then I have something like that and then I just put some 
um, rectangles as well so if you want to do that as well just follow along make a new layer take a rectangle tool make a rectangle like so more, more line actually and fill that in with all backspace and you can fill that in with a white with a purple with a blue whatever you want to and then I place some random uh, lines as well here so I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna choose this purple that I have I'm gonna make a line right there and then I'm also going to put one here and I'm gonna make a small one right there like so I think that has a nice look to it and I've put some uh, circles with the elliptic tool uh, with just a white color I hold it in uh, shift and alt and then you have a perfect circle and I just went all backspace and there you go and then I've made little circles next to it the same way and then I've placed some bigger circles like so and then I've have this brush um, that's normally in everyone's Photoshop it's by special effects brushes and you have, you have this Kyle screen tones and normally this is in the latest Photoshop so if you have the latest Photoshop you will you will do this you can do this as well and you have this brush you make a new layer and then you have a little tab at the top and you have this little um, effect as well I'm going to make it a bit bigger I'm going to put one there as well I'm going to put one here as well and then yeah you can put some little circles like so like so and then I'm gonna move the opacity like a 38 and you have something like that uh, something like this I think that looks pretty nice in my opinion and then what I also did is I went to Google so this is Jujutsu Kaisen um, there you go and I went to their um, anime list um, so what the anime is about really so I'm just going to copy this I'm gonna close that down and I go to my text tool, make a little rectangle and make the size of the font uh, like a 4 or something like that and make the font something basic like Arial or something like that I'm going to paste that in there I'm going to move that text all the way up like so so it's above the render I'm going to make it a bit longer like so and then what I also did then is double clicked that specific layer and I put a little drop shadow on top of there and made the, the distance uh, like really close around 4 there you go and I think that fits somehow but that doesn't always fit so don't always put uh, random text on your headers sometimes it looks nice sometimes it does so and then I just put some light light effect behind the character so make a new layer behind the character take your brush make it a bit big uh, put the hardness on a zero as well like so and then I'm going to have like this bright um, blue as well make the brush a bit bigger like so putting that like so and then I'm going to make a new layer above everything take the color purple like a bright purple and have little dabs um, everywhere on the uh, banner like so I'm going to put that on the screen and I'm going to lower the opacity and then I'm going to do the same thing again but with a bigger brush like so and I'm going to put that on the overlay and lower the opacity as well Okay, I'm going to do that again, but with a, a different, with a darker purple. Now maybe that's too dark, something like that. I'm going to brush in the sides on new layer, like so. I'm going to put that on the yeah, normal and the bottom as well, like so. Okay, make, I'm going to make a new layer again with the brush and with a white color. I'm just going to have a little dab on top, like so. And that all many spices up your banner, in my opinion. Some lightning can always affect your banner. I'm just going to click this little circle, and then it's going to pop out all your um, all adjustments that you can do. I'm going to click on brightness and contrast. It's going to pop up the contrast and the brightness a tad. Then I'm going to vibrance, pop up the saturation and the vibrance as well. What, what you can do then as well as hue and saturation, you can change the color to anything that you like. Maybe like I'm going to make it a bit more bluish. I think that would fit. And put some couple of dots uh, like so there you go I think that looks really nice so yeah that is me simplifying that header that I made uh, I've done some other things with it I put some particles in it more light effects camera raw filter anything 
um, but I simplified this a little bit for you guys so this is uh, the easy simple tutorial that you can make that, that you can follow along I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you have any other suggestions let me know in discord or in the comments I happy I'm happy to hear you guys what you want to see in the, in the future I have some really I have some couple of these that I think you guys would like and I see you guys in the next one